it's in the works if um, if we can get those in a state where we can uh, get a get a contribution for SL I'd be really interested to take a look at that. Just the uh, resizable window alone would be worth the price of admission. <laughs> yeah. So what's uh, back? What's your time frame on that? Is this something that uh, would would be in a, a pullinable state soon, or some kind of under development? And where where is Animesh with respect to Firestorm? Is that out in its own kind of beta now, or coming soon now? Okay. Okay, so it's it's out in beta and and going to release soon. You think? Okay, yeah, sounds good. Um, I've seen there's some Animesh content starting to turn up on the uh, marketplace as well, which is a, a cool development. I wish it was a little easier to find, but it's uh, it's there. Okay, uh, you know, I will probably hold off on getting too deep into uploader-related stuff uh, if, if a lot of it's going to be uh, addressed uh, or at least made harder to merge by uh, stuff that's already going on in Firestorm, but uh, we can talk about that. Uh, some of the other things we've got queued up in that viewer right now, uh, I'm hoping to tackle... Um, Supporting shapes for Animesh, um, and I'm going to do some investigation into trying to get uh, attachment-like behavior as well. I don't know, I still don't know if there's a straightforward way to tackle that or not. Um, if it requires having something like an agent for Animesh that lives on the simulator, probably not going to happen, but um, I think it may be something that we could get by uh, basically just viewer munching of transform matrix stuff. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, shapes I don't think are too bad. The only issue with shapes is that we don't have anything like uh, an appearance message for Animesh, so we've got to we've got to either add that to the object update message or stick it somewhere else. Um, there's got to be some way to send out notices about um, about the appearance of, of an Animesh object. And then once we've got that info, then it's it's easy enough to apply the changes to the skeleton. So anyway, uh, I haven't started coding that yet, but uh, hoping to get a chance to look at it. Um, have some have some uh, kind of back-end stuff that I'm working on right now that's not really uh, immediately visible, but uh, will we'll help with some other things we're working on. So let's see what else is going on. Bakes on Mesh um, has got a an Animesh. This has been merged with Animesh. Um, Anchor's working on that. There's a. I think there's some. There's some kind of an issue with um, vertical positioning that I'm not sure if it's specific to Bakes on Mesh or if it's a general thing that came in with with Animesh Viewer, um, but. Uh, in any case, uh, he's doing some investigation on that, and we'll try to get that sorted out. Has anybody seen any issues in this group with um, avatars that kind of wind up the wrong position off the ground? Inky's hover, yeah. Do you know when that came in? Was it was it part of the Animesh viewer release, or is it something, uh, or is it something that uh, came out with uh, with some other update? It affects older viewers, okay. So it may be related to the appearance service update rather than the, the Animesh viewer going live.
Okay, so even if you run a viewer that doesn't have the Animesh code incorporated, you still see the same kind of issues? Okay. Thanks. I'll, I'll pass that along to Anchor. That may be helpful with the diagnosis he's trying to do there. Uh, let's see. So other than that, uh, so Big Sun Mesh, working on the issues there, and then we've got... Uh, uh, we've got Eep. You want to, Ryder? You want to say anything about uh, what's going on with Eep these days? So I'm uh, putting the final touches on uh, the uh, set a, um, uh, set agent environment, um, smoothing off some of the rough ends so that the uh, so that you can blend in individual settings for uh, for an agent. Um, Hopefully that will be in the next uh, the next April. Once it once that's once that's done, I'll be able to to switch back to the viewer. Sounds good. Yes, we. Uh, I think we have a, a, a Jira for that. Uh, Silas. And and yes, still no. And yes, still no God rays. They're, they they are coming. Eep is um, Eep is merged with Animesh now, right? Uh, I I sure hope so because I can see the chicken dancing and I'm okay. on an Eep viewer. <laughs> There's a lady here who seems to like. Uh, Palm trees a lot too. Yes, yes. I see. the uh, the the pole the palm tree pole dancer. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure what we mean by UUID-based application. Yeah, I'm I'm not promising anything on that one, honestly. It's it's there's a there's a serious kind of mismatch between trying to uh, you know 
approach it from a, a texture UUID perspective versus the way the, the baking service works. Um, uh, you know, we, nothing's been definitively decided. It's that it's definitely not going to be anyway. I think uh, having some way to automatically create a wearable and do stuff with it might be a little better path forward, but uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. It's um, We've had enough to keep us busy on the big sun mesh side without getting into that particular area, so don't uh, don't know for sure. Oh, that's a banana tree, not a palm tree. Oh, okay. I guess you can tell by the bananas, can't you? Well, I just had to make one, so. I guess technically they aren't even trees then. Big server function to do complexity. We don't have any projects underway right now, but we have had some discussions about it. The you know, the Arctan project would be where that would live, um, which is our general, you know, reconsider reconsider complexity uh, project. Um, so it it seems to make sense to try to calculate that stuff somewhere on the back end. Um, but right now, the viewer is the only place that has all the information you need. So, uh, you know, whether we're trying to put it in the bake service or somewhere in the simulator, um, you know, either way, we'd have to add quite a bit of additional asset loading, you know, to those services to enable them to uh, do the complexity calculations in, a, in an equivalent way to the viewer. Um, so, don't don't have a definite answer on what the best way to do that is, but uh, it is something we've been recently. Uh, I'm not sure what I mean by mechanically impossible. I mean, you any any uh, LSL script that can set a texture ID can set the texture ID for the for the bakes on mesh ID, can it? Uh, back threshold based stuff. Oh, you uh, the five percent threshold? Yeah, I don't know. I, I put that in because we were getting complaints about people getting spammed with updates about kind of small irrelevant changes. Um, so you're just going with it and letting people get all the updates. I don't know, I guess this falls under the heading of you can't please everyone. It's, um, you know, I, I agree it's a little distracting if you've got some, you know, fiddly little thing that's that's changing the, uh, you know, it's changing some alpha value that's causing some tiny change to your complexity calculation. Um, 
you know, it's, it seems like it's not a great user experience if you're getting pestered about that stuff all the time. But uh, if people really feel like they want to have their hands on the controls and kind of see every every digit, then I, I guess you'd have to turn off the threshold check. Uh, left arm and left leg textures, I mean, they basically work how you want them to work. They, they're just channels. We don't really do anything to populate them automatically. Um, that, you know, the assumption is that people would use them in a way that's consistent with the texture map for the, uh, you know, the right, the right, uh, arm and the right, I think it's just the foot actually, and the right foot. Um, so that, uh, you know, stuff could, could, um, kind of get transferred over easily. Mm, no, it's only 100k adds 5 and then 5 and then 5. It should trigger because it's comparing to the last time that it actually uh, gave you an announced update. It's, it's not comparing to the last time it did a check. Eh, hmm, I don't know. I can take a look at it. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's what it's supposed to be doing. If it if it isn't, then that's a bug. Yeah, it's it's. I agree. It's cosmetic. I mean, if you get a bunch of updates, it's it's annoying, but it's not catastrophic. Oh, uh, as far as getting the UUIDs of the textures, uh, we were going to add an LSL capability so that you could add the textures by, you know, by name rather than by number. I'm not positive whether that's out yet. Um, that's a, you know, that's a simulator change rather than a, um, rather than a viewer change. Yeah. Uh, also on Bakes on Mesh, we're we're trying to update the documentation a bit. I've got a wiki page under construction. Um, you could probably find it now, but as I say, it's under construction, so I'd recommend waiting until we get it finished. We do have a request to try to make the left, um, to try to make the left channels kind of populated automatically the way the right channels are, um, you know, using the, using the standard uh, uh, skin textures and so forth. Um, that is somewhere in our pile of, um, you know, possible, possible next stage bakes on mesh issues, um, but, uh, you know, nothing going on with it right now.
Yeah, that may be uh, your request, actually, that I'm referring to, but I know we have one out there. I'm not sure what you mean by using the base right texture for left side bakes on mesh. You, you mean that the actual output of the bake service would, would give you the same texture for, for left and right if you hadn't done something else? Well, anyway, I think uh, we've covered all the actual announcements for today, so it's uh, open open questions where we can bail out whenever there's nothing else to talk about. If you sign the left arm to upper, then it will put the right arm texture on it. I mean, that's that is the default behavior, right? That's how the um, that's how the current system avatar is is set uh, that's that's why there's a problem with trying to make the arms look different is that there's a the left and the right uh, are both using the the same portion of the of the texture space oh bye minute
Because there's more of a demand for halfway formatted text than I realized. Oh, bye, Ryder. Thanks for coming by. All right, well, I guess we can wrap it up. Doesn't look like there's much else going on this week. Uh, so we'll keep you posted on new stuff as it happens. Um, Schedule-wise, we have a meeting next week, and then we're going to be off for a week uh, for the holiday break. Um, everything's going to be shut down for a while there at the end of December. And then we will be back again in three weeks. All right, well, looking forward to seeing uh, Animesh out on uh, the uh, main Firestorm release and probably lots more palm dancers or banana dancers or something. Yeah, you're probably right. I probably do have a, we probably do have a conflict unless they move the company meeting. I'll have to take a look at the schedule on that. Yeah, we always have a few people keeping an eye on things if something breaks in a big way, but you're not going to be seeing any, you know, major new releases or anything. Nope, oh, sounds good, Beck. All right, we'll see everybody in a week then. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Yeah.